Will you pray with me? Gracious God, there are so many ways you love and care for us, and we are so thankful for that fact. We thank you that you uh, sent your son Jesus to our world to give us life and that it may be an abundant life. And we are, are so thrilled to be able to, to live in such a way that your love permeates into our very lives, into our very beings with all that we do. I pray that you would continue to give us the wisdom to live a life that becomes the term Christian. For we recognize how important that term is because Jesus came so that we could have a better life. And we ask you to help us to, to be your church, that thing that Jesus started to allow us to be his body on this earth. We recognize how important it is in being a church family. And we know that one of the things about being a church family is that we have to be a diverse group and we, we have, must be loving and caring and accepting of all people. And so we are so grateful to be able to do that, Lord, and that we know that there are many different issues and concerns that come into people's lives. We know that your church has been called to be a servant to all. And I pray that you would continue to help us to strive to love other people as Jesus loved them. For we know that it's not always easy because many of us have different prejudices in our lives. And so we ask you to forgive us for times when we don't love somebody because they are just so different from us. Or we don't like somebody because there is so much anger in their life that we don't like that anger and it it bothers us and so it it's hard to love them but we know that we are called to love them and forgive them because you love and forgive every one of us as well so help us O oh god to be loving and caring and forgiving with ourselves with our family members with our friends who sometimes can do things that we wonder about what happened there, and even for those strangers who need our forgiveness as well. And Lord, we also ask you to help us to truly be your servants on this earth. We know that you've called us to be your disciple. We ask you to transform us so that we could be what would be considered a good disciple of your son Jesus. Help us to truly look to his teachings so that we might live a life of blessing to other people. We might live a life that helps to heal other people. We might live a life that allows others to know of your love and your care. May we truly follow the example of your son Jesus that he set when he walked on this earth. And so as we close this time of prayer, we unite in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.